five nerf guns just to switch things up. Now, this is going to be in fifth place. We have the nerf hailfire. This is a fully automatic machine gun powered by four double A's. I don't like the fully auto nerf gun line, but just because they're not as powerful. But I'm going to throw this one in just because 144 rounds really can't beat that. And if it wasn't fully automatic, it would totally not even be worth having 144 rounds. I'd rather just have one clip. Anyway, this has eight clip slots, and uh, those slots can be refreshed as i guess you could put put it in sentence by pulling that lever on the top pushing that forward i believe and it will move it counterclockwise now in fourth place we are putting in the night finder this is the blue one the blue one is easier to mod than the yellow one due to less springs all right uh, less screws and the spring is a uh, rougher spring than the yellow one the yellow one is the newer one which is like a soft version but I like the blue one better, it shoots harder, and it's just, I liked it a lot better. I had both of them, and I, I didn't like the yellow one. Uh, and this one's the easiest gun, just to uh, go around, like, get, like, 60 nerf bullets, and use whistler darts, and just go, ha boom ha boom ha boom And it was just, it was a nice gun. It was for when I was really young, it was, like, the first one I ever got. Had three, has three shots. Um, in third place, we have the Vulcan. This gun is the best gun from my childhood. Had about 25 rounds, which were stored on a chain belt, fully automatic with 4D batteries. And you can also go manual. It has one of the cock springs that the long shot had. Now, this gun was not a far shooter, but it shot fast, and it definitely was loud. But the loudness kind of scared away the enemy. And it was really fun for forts. Like, you could throw it in to a blanket, put a blanket over it, and you can just sit in the fort. You can't get shot. It's kind of... It was kind of cheating. I used to build nerf forts and have nerf wars with my friends all the time. And in the second place, we have the classic Maverick. This gun is the best pistol until its predecessor came along in about 2013. This has a six-round holder that has suction cup bullets. They were fun to shoot at tube TVs, but do not shoot them at your flat screens as they will destroy the LCD or LED or whatever you're using. Um, This gun was the best in 2011. It was the best mech uh, the spring gun, spring guns I find are better, um, but it has been passed by the gun that's in first place. Definitely an awesome gun for Russian roulette. If you don't know what Russian roulette is, you stick one bullet in the chamber, spin the chamber around, and then you cock it and shoot. Alright, now here is the first one. We have this strong arm. Strong arm is a revolver gun. It shoots, it holds six rounds, shoots 75 feet. Average didn't get below 75 actually, so it's not the average. That is the lowest it shot was 75 feet. Yeah, it's pretty far. Um, it was a great gun. It still is a great gun, and for Cyber Monday, it only costs nine dollars, so not that bad. It's still Cyber Week at Walmart, so you can still get it for nine dollars till the end of the week. But I'm, obviously, when you see this, if it's not Cyber Week, then you probably can't get it. Ah, uh, thanks. Thank you guys for watching. Thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs down if you didn't like it. Subscribe.